y'all. Welcome back. It's Nikki. Thanks for joining me. Uh, we're going to delve into this book, like I promised. Um, had a few subs ask if they would, if I would look it over. Um, found some interesting things last night in it. So I went ahead and marked it. Um, so yeah, let's jump into it. I mean, this has a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of stuff. Um, you know, here's the, it's a poor man's meal, hot water cornbread, so you don't have to use milk with it. Um, dumplings, of course, a lot of us know how to make this cornmeal mush, which, yeah, I don't think I'd ever eat a cornmeal mush. If I was hungry, yeah, I'd eat it, but, um, elk backstrap with, uh, spiced plum sauce, that sounds good. Backstrap's good. There's corned beef soda biscuits, skillet trout, um, oatmeal pancakes, and we come on down, here's some more recipes with scallop cocktails, uh, cattail pollen biscuits, um, I mean, rice, cat on the cob with garlic butter. I'm not sure how good that would be, but okay. I mean, I, I can see us eating it. Uh, if you listen to his his video and you listen and, and you hear what happened um, in his grandfather's time of how they ate, you know there was a starvation um, a major st starvation and and they began to turn on each other that's really kind of sad so um, yeah I, I cattails looking more and more appetizing as it as it goes so um, so here we have uh, um, filter and water, which, you know, a lot of us already have our filters, but to make a natural filter with charcoal, um, you know, the sand, grasses, it tells you how to do that if you don't know how to do all that. Um, how to make glue out of pine resin. Uh, I mean, it, it just showing the flag, raising a posse, what our ancestors were forging for. Um, it tells you wild lettuce. Uh, some recipes for um, wild lettuce. It's a natural painkiller. It they actually thought it had opiates in it um, back in the day, which it doesn't. But it still gives you that um, that major pain relief that you're looking for. You know, um, especially if there's no doctors or medicines to be had. So here's the recipe for that, and uh, it just goes into so much, so much more. Uh, shepherd's purse, sour dock, watercress, lady's thumb, uh, mulberry mint, plantain, purse lane. Um, the, uh, then it goes into how to start a sourdough uh, kit for to make your own sourdough bread. Um, then it's a bark bread. It's a famine bread. I'm, I'm not sure what that is. I've never experienced a famine. But um, then it, it goes on down further into trapping and uh, types of traps you use for beaver and muskrat. Which if you're going to trap, then you need to go start watching uh, Georgia Trapping and Fishing. He's got a lot of good um, videos on his channel. Um, how to set the foothold trap underwater traps, a body grip trap. Um, here's tannin, how to tan the hide, uh, brain tannin. Um, storage ideas, good old fashioned cooking on an open flame, things to do in a root cellar. Uh, and here's the creating the ideal conditions for your root cellar. There's some poultice recipes, cast iron cooking, uh, Dutch oven cooking, recipes past and future, some porridge, uh, biscuits and gravy, apple pie, mock mock turtle soup, meat pies, um, stews, breads. Uh, then, we, then we come on down here and we have a uh, how our ancestors navigated without using a GPS. Because if we have a grid down, the GPS is not going to work. Your phones will not work. Sorry, hate to tell you that, but they will not work. 
um, so you that it shows you how to use the stars, how to let the sun guide you, how to let the moon guide you, um, how the south side, the moss, and other vegetation grow on trees, how you make a compass. Like when I showed you my Altoids tin and I said I had a magnet in there, I could scrape that needle that I carry on my uh, Mora. I could scrape that needle onto that magnet, magnetize that needle, and therefore put it on a leaf in some in a puddle of water even and it would always point north um here's for you uh beer and uh moonshiners out there here's how to make a beer here's how to make your moonshine your you make your still um here's the schematic on it make you make your own yeast your hops for the beer your malted barley uh, oh here's a good one so reloading and casting bullets and uh, powder how to make your powder the old-fashioned way um, tells you what kind of reloading equipment needs you need the uh, the this also goes in detail or in the uh, black powder how to make gunpowder the old-fashioned way um, it tells you how to how to store ammo and components and how much ammunition is enough I can answer that with two words never enough but that's my opinion so um, it, it tells you how to make a knife to, to forge a knife the blade the tang grinding the blade hardening the blade making the handle uh, Let's see, understanding uh, how to make soap. I mean, if you don't know how to make soap, this it tells you how to make it. Then it goes into a detailed story of the Donner Party and what we learn from the Donner Party. And if you don't know about the Donner Party, look it up. I don't want to go into much detail about that. Um, like I said, soap making the old fashioned way. Uh, tells you how to make homemade toothpaste which baking soda is pretty much, or bentonite clay, or a uh, um, little bit, I think it's bentonite clay and baking soda, and that's what I used to use, and coconut oil. So here's how to make uh, gears, belts, and reciprocating saws, and lubrication. Um, they, the, work, the wheel works, so the overshot wheel works. How to build snowshoes. Um, for those that of us don't have the ability or the know-how to, to, you know, build them. So here's a self-feeding fire, in case you didn't know how to build a self-feeding fire. And this is uh, Morris Kohansky stuff. Uh, it's really, really detailed. How to build a self-containing fire. Um, tells you how to make hard tech biscuits. All right, so let me get, without further ado, I'm just going to get in here and tell you all about what I, um, all right, so this was, this was in a, uh, in a, uh, comment, in the comments yesterday when I made, made the video. Um, this is how you make a candle out of resin, pine resin, and it gives you all the details of it course I don't know if I can make one because we don't have enough but I might be able to if I had a community tab it'd be a lot easier but I don't so then you crush the charcoal and mix it with the resin to make a, a black and if you want to see a good uh, video on on this you can also tune into uh, Dominic Minichetti he made a very good um, video I think it was a couple years ago he made a series of of putting you know making it making it from scratch and now I'm there's other videos out there that would you know would have that all right so there's crimes in the West let's mark this and go to the next mark all right so this one is what our ancestors were forging for or how to wildcraft your table 
um, I'll show you how the uh, wild lettuce. Wild lettuce has been used by many people in place of addictive prescription pain medicine. It is called opium lettuce. The reason it's referred to as opium lettuce is due to the pain relieving and sedative effect that it has known to produce through a white substance found in the stems and leaves. And if you pick that off, you can actually see that. If you pinch it between your fingers, you can actually see that. The milky substance is also called uh, Latucarium. Forgive me if I mispronounce that. And while it doesn't contain any opioids, it has similar side effects which you when used it acts directly on the central nervous system to lessen the feeling of pain just like an opium and morphine does so you extract it you uh you collect uh 50 to 150 leaves in a blender but not very thinly only just for a few seconds and then you put up put them in a pot and add enough water to cover them like you would any greens um then you place the pot on the stove for three or four hours. Do not let it boil because it, it destroys all the good stuff in it, just like a lot of stuff. Um, stir every 15 minutes until the water gets dark brown color. Uh, try to squeeze out as much while the plant is in the strainer. The solution, especially the painkilling is essence, but it's not concentrated enough. So in order to obtain this essence, you should warm it over low heat again until the water is vaporized while stirring basically dehydrating the solution until it becomes paste um be careful at the end when there's little water you don't want to burn it so um yeah it has a lot of here's asparagus um perennial asparagus uh, a lot of here's the thing about cattails chicory and chickweed Cleavers, dandelion. Dandelion is actually, the leaves is actually very good for you too. Um, they have a, you can, you can eat them. They are edible. They have a bitter taste to them, but they are edible. So, I was just uh, looking down through here. So, y'all don't mow your grass this summer. <laughs> Let them weeds grow. I'm just playing because I'm going I'm to definitely be mowing mine because I don't, I can't have no snakes and bees around. So, uh, yeah, here's some mint. Um, it's a perennial herb. Here's mulberry. We used to have a mulberry tree out behind our house years ago. We're long since moved from there, though. Um, here's plantain. Plantain is a, is a pretty good one, too. Um, it came from... It wasn't a... Uh, native here it came from europe a lot of like a lot of stuff came from europe and they have the broadleaf plantain um shepherd's purse it gives you all the pictures of what each thing looks like and it's an actual picture not an illustration um there you go there's watercress But we do we we've had watercress for years in our um of course we don't do it now because i'm allergic to bees and i can't so i'm gonna start container um start a container garden lord willing this year <clears throat> um here's um herbal poultices to heal the wounds uh, a poultice is a tropical application you know it's heated and it's from the Native Americans. Uh, here's a few poultice recipes. Stomach aches to treat an abscess. There's a mustard poultice. There's the root cellar section, which we don't have room for root cellar, so might have to make one. And here's the Wild West guns for SHTF, how they made gunpowder and got to rolling their own ammo. Here's the uh, black powder one, the Peacemaker. I haven't read it all. I'm just perusing it and looking it over. Looking at what I find interesting. Um, 
the bullet mold, which you can get the bullet mold from uh, Guns of the West, I think it is. I think it's from Darren, and he has um, he has the whole setup: um, how to make gunpowder the old-fashioned way, machining bullets. Um, here's the recipe for it: it's the reloading dies, the reloading bench. The tumbler, the powder scales, all of you reloading guys know all about this stuff. There's some of us that, um, that's never reloaded. And for the life of me, I don't know why. Here's how to, uh, do a correspondence, uh, spycraft kind of, with invisible ink. And acorns and quill letters tells you how to how to use that and get the best effectiveness for making spy letters and then here's the section on how to make a knife it tells you uh, forging the tang grinding the blade forging the blade hardening the blade how to make your own knife making the handle even tells you how to use an old file as a lot of us have already done. I need to get the, uh, the other three books. And just the truth. It wasn't raining when Noah built the ark, but the rain came, didn't it? So you can make, uh, soap with modern ingredients. Uh, Temporarily installing a wood burning stove during emergencies. This would be a good one. We still have the uh, the chimney and the chimney hole in the wall and we could put a, a Temporary uh, wood stove in there. We have gas heat now and It's it's nice, but I just wish we had the wood stove in there still And then here's the uh, section on the the Donner party I'm, I'm not gonna go into detail because it, it, it gets kind of gory with that uh, here's more on making soap um, learning from our ancestors how to take care of our hygiene when there isn't anything to buy uh, you, you make it with lye and wood ash and you collect the fat render it down you can use olive oil vegetable oil lard beef fat Cooking the soap, the cold process method. Uh, medicinal soaps. Making your own soaps. Here's the homemade toothpaste, clay toothpaste, baking soda, basic baking soda recipe. I don't like salt in my in my toothpaste, though. It makes it too salty. And the baking soda, a uh, baking powder by itself is, is salty enough. So I, I just omit the salt. I know the salt would help, but here's a section on uh, making the snowshoes with the bindings and webbing. Here's the saw mills, grain mills, and stamping mills, how they built them in the day. I hope this video turns out right. I haven't looked at it because I got it angled down. I can't really see it, so I might have to redo it. But um, if you guys are interested in getting this book, I would definitely highly recommend it. I would definitely recommend it. Um, this this Claude Davis, he has a uh, a website. It's uh, askaprepper.com check him out he's uh he's he built his own he, he built his own cabin he's trying to give everybody some heads up so he's a firm believer in practice what you preach so he has personally built a log cabin where he lives with his wife and his two children cooking outside in an open flame making his own clothes and stockpiling homemade canned foods are just a few things he loves doing he believes that in that the teaching of the forefathers can prepare us for anything in life after all a crisis is what people 150 years ago called daily life. 
No electricity, no computers, no internet, no supermarkets, no pharmacies in sight. And still, they came out on top. Otherwise, he we wouldn't be here. So, give it a try. You know? It, they're, they're very good books. Reads has a link to all five of them. So, it might give you the best price for, for the books to buy. Or, you can just go to thelostways.com like I posted in the last video and get your book from there straight. But anyway, y'all take care and have a good day. God bless.